Uh, yes. Um, there is a couple problems with being out in the ocean and being in freezing water. And one of those problems basically is drowning if your ship sinks. Now, the problem with metal is that it likes to sink. So, uh, and the problem with wood in water is that it likes to rot. Or it does rot eventually. So, what's the best of both worlds? Well, make a, a, um, a metal ship with a steam engine and everything and then put a wooden boat on top. And that's exactly what we did with, with, with some of our ships. Um, in fact, in fact, it was a quite popular, la um, uh, popular, um, popular uh, uh, attraction, basically, was basically, uh, and why a lot of people went to my Belfast shipyard, why a lot of people said, yeah, I'll take one of those, was because um, the bottom part of the ship, the, the superstructure and everything was all steel and all, or, or all steel or all well uh, bolted steel and stuff like that. So the whole bottom and the engines and everything were all, was all steel. So it wouldn't, you know, the, 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 um, it wouldn't rot or anything like that. And it was basically metal and it was good metal too. I think we might have even done some copper stuff, you know, and we were messing around with copper paint and stuff like that to, to like mess around with it and stuff like that. But one of my popular, most popular lines was actually a steel bottom. Uh, wood doesn't really rot that fast though. It takes like years for wood to rot, but, but wood leaks though. And that, and that is a problem. And, um, and we did like some tar scenes and some other stuff. Like we had a whole line, of, you know, where, where, when you rivet the plate on, you know, there's tar that, that, that goes in there, you know, and then this tar squishes out and it provides a seal and everything else like that. And after time, sometimes it leaks and stuff. Anyway, though, but, but I mean, they're old ships, you know, they, 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 we had a whole line and everything, you know, it was all of the Belfast shipyards and my, and Lucifer white, li white star lines. That's how I got, you know, I got a lot of money from that and a lot of cool stuff. Quite a massive operation. Anyway, though, but one of my most popular ships actually was basically, it's a steel ship under, un, undercarriage and the, and the, um, and the, and the steam thing. And, and then, and then basically on top is a, is a, is a wooden structure and it basically, the whole, the whole top structure is basically a big life raft, basically, you know, it's all wood up there and stuff. And then, and then what you do is you just seal it up and then close it. And, um, I forget how they did it. Oh, we had a couple wooden doors or stuff. We, we were messing around with watertight doors and some other ways to seal a wooden, a wooden, uh, wooden thing. I think, oh, I know what it was. <clears throat> it goes along. You can go downstairs and basically it's like a big, big tub down there. It's like a big barn basically that, that, that sits up on, on top and then you walk up and you go into the thing. And I think that there is a metal, there was a metal passageway right there with a hatch. So, you know, because people want to be able to go out from there. So basically on one of them, you know, there's this bit metal thing that was, that was, that was put, you know, riveted to the wood and it would leak a little bit maybe, but not that much, you know, mostly, um, so basically an emergency, if you sank, if you hit something or something like that and you sank, the, the, the top part would basically just lift off pretty much from the water coming in. You know, as the water comes in, the ship would just basically fall away. And we actually tested this and we actually did this and we actually tested it out. And the, because it was just setting on top, you know, basically and some bolts or something, some pins, we, there's some pins, you pull, a, you pull a, a, a cable or rope and it pulls the pins out of the wall. And, and that's all that holds the room on. And then, and then, so when the ship sinks, bloop, the, the, the top part just goes and just floats up and out because the water coming in pushes it out. So, so it literally gets separated from the ship and the water pressure pushes it up to, uh, pushes it up more. So it just, so, so, so I mean, it, they work perfectly, you know, because we tested it out. We opened up a ship and let it sink and, and sure enough, the water pressure and air pressure just goes and pushes the room right out. Pook. And then it's left sitting there, just fine, just dot, bob and stuff. Anyways, one of our most popular lines, and, and it's two stories. So basically, you grab a rope, and it pulls the pins out of either side, and then you grab the rope in the back. I think there's like six, a couple of different, different pins, and it just goes, one of my most popular lines. I got like 50,000 orders for that one. <laughs> or like, or like, a, like, like at least 30. They're like, yeah, we want that. Because uh, they're safe. You know, you'd never have to worry, even if, even if a torpedo hit you, even if you were like, boom, poof, you know, you just pull the pins and oh, well, of course he could shoot you again, but you know, maybe not. So you just crowd in the room, you know, and, and the room is big enough to, to hold everyone. So the center staircase and everything was made to come out. Not, they might have cut corners on the Titanic because it's like, well, you know, we haven't really, you know, they weren't normally used, you know, but they're basically the, the, the safety room. They call it the safety room or whatever.
and basically it pops right out. Yeah, and we built that as one of our popular, most popular things. Was it was, and a lot of people were like, "Well, we like it. It doesn't have to float, though." And I was like, uh, "Well, we'll get, we'll include the floating one anyway." So you know, because a lot of people, you know, metal was very expensive back then, and wood was a lot cheaper. So we would, um, so we'd make these safety boxes out of out of out of out of good wood. You know, we use hardwood and stuff, oak wood and some other stuff. We I don't think we use pine. I wouldn't make them out of pine. I think maybe some some of them were made out of pine, but we tried to stay away from the pine because of termites and everything eat it and rot and it rots. You know, we try and go for some of the hardwoods, which the termites and bugs don't really like. But the salt, but but, but bugs don't really like salt water anyway. So, <laughs> you know, they actually stay away from the salt for some reason. I don't know what it is about the ocean and the salt, but 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 insects and termites they don't really like it. So, you know, they they don't hang around. But um. But basically, the safety rooms were were always included, and a lot of people, you know, that, that there's even some where it was just like a steel thing on, where it was actually like two ships in one, basically, you know, um, you know, or le or like a bilge because, you know, anyway though. But but as long as you keep wood wood fairly dry or whatever, you know, or just put a little bit of salt or something on it, you know, wash the deck with salt. We didn't know that actually. At I didn't know that at first, and I was like, so the salt water seals today. He's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. It keeps it from rotting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anyway, so, and we even made deck water too. <laughs> Buckets and stuff like that for wood preservative. That was just, that was just salt water. <laughs> anyway, though, uh, yeah, I mean, originally I didn't know that back in the day, you know, I mean, uh, about, I, 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 I wasn't really a sailor. <laughs> like I say, I wasn't really a sailor, you know, I didn't, I didn't start with, with, with ships, you know, I was mostly a dry land and stuff and minor. And then, uh, and I got into the shipbuilding business and stuff like that with the Titanic and started building ships. And, and then I had my safety ships and stuff like that because I, I, I like safety. I believe in safety. And, and another thing, like, like, like they say, I mean, you can't be in, in cold, freezing water more than five minutes or even less. And, and we tested it out and, 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 we had, and, you know, the, the whole, and we defibrillated people and stuff like that. Otherwise, you know, we, and there's other techniques for, for getting them to kind of like wake up. But it doesn't really work. You need a defibrillator. So. Anyway, and we invented that also because of the cold water and, and, and the fact that, that it stops people's hearts sometimes. They go into shock. And we're trying to figure out what, what that was, too. <laughs> anyway, or my people were, anyway. I was, I was paying them to figure out how to restart someone's heart and all that, or at least figure out what's, what, what, what it is about the cold that, that really affects the human body. Anyway, I genetically design humans and life forms, but I don't really, you know, I mean, how they respond to the world and how the world responds to them, that's different, so... You know, until you actually figure all this stuff out. I mean, and I didn't really like like. I mean, I'm really busy anyway. Well, well, I have a testing phase for all my life forms. That that's one thing that that's also weird about me is I is that I always test out. I have a testing phase for my life forms where I'm like, well, let's see how they do in the universal world, and then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. and all that. So it's part of being a creator and everything, or at least the way I do it. Just like I test my ships, but you know, <laughs> anyway though. But I I test my ships a little bit differently. You know, we, we go ahead and break the ships. We don't break the humans. So anyway, though, but yeah. Um, but yeah, my safety structures were, were, were pretty popular with a lot of people because they really liked them because, you know, they didn't really have to worry about freezing or dying or being stranded. Well, they do have to worry about being stranded in the middle of the ocean, I guess. But, you know, anyway. Anyway, that's part of the whole Lucifer Star Lines, uh, White Star Lines ship, uh, um, ship and passenger service. So... Lucifer White Star Lines, Ship and Passenger Service, and Lucifer White Star Lines uh, Air Travel, also known as American Air Airlines. So, because I named America. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I love those things.